it's harvest time in the Hunter, and all across the valley, grapes are being stripped from the vines. Bursting with flavor, the juices are already flowing by the time the fruit is delivered for processing. The wines produced here are enjoyed all over the world. But the vineyards live in the shadow of a mightier industry, one which drives the Australian economy. We have a government that's completely sold out to the mining industry, putting revenue from them first, and that has got to change. Vast areas of the valley have already been ripped up to get at the coal seams below. Open cut mining leaves ugly black scars across the landscape. Coal companies have bought up local vineyards as they expand. Vines and mines have coexisted in the valley for more than a century, but in the past decade, the New South Wales government has sanctioned a huge increase in coal production because it gets a slice of the vast profits to be made. Now the mines are threatened to squeeze out the grapes. So when the energy company AGL decided to explore for coal seam gas in the middle of the vineyards, it was the final straw. We can't move, um, and they can, so I think they should. Andrew Morgan oversees a thriving family wine business, which has felt the impact of the mining on his doorstep. Four years ago, he lost his entire crop of Merlot grapes because of subsidence. The coal seam gas project has exhausted his patience. I've always worked with the coal mines rather than against them, and I was prepared to do the same with AGL. I've just found as time goes on that uh, I don't trust them. Opponents say the drilling could poison underground water and damage the crops. To try to disprove that claim, AGL bought a vineyard and hired one of Australia's most famous winemakers to manage it. At the moment, what is happening here certainly works in great harmony with what I do on the vineyard. If the test drilling for coal seam gas is successful, there will be several hundred wellheads dotted across the landscape for up to 15 years. People are just beginning to say now, enough is enough. Well, that's, that's what the people are saying to us, and we are listening to that, and we are trying to carry out our activities in a way that's sympathetic and compatible with the local communities. We understand what they're saying to us, but what we're trying to demonstrate by the activities here is this is low impact. This is a very low impact industry. There are fears that the creeping industrialization of the area will drive away the nearly three million tourists who come to visit the vineyards every year. Locals will have to put up with it, but an area known as Sydney's playground is in danger of losing its charm. Ian Woods, Sky News, in the Hunter Valley of New South Wales.